what's going on guys welcome back to this new video and in this video i'm going to show you how to make any elements to me on scroll as you can see right over here i have this blog page i got the blog articles on the left side and i got this uh, newsletter opt-in and the social media icons on the right side and what i want here is when i scroll down it should be sticky like that but it's not sticky yet we'll make it sticky in this video so before we begin i would like to request all of you guys to subscribe to this channel because that is very much important and also like this video that will be appreciated so let's begin okay so first of all head over to your wordpress dashboard then hover over to plugins and click on this awesome add new button once you're here search here for sticky menu like this and as you can see we got this plugin right over here make sure that you install the right plugin that has these number of active installations and five star rating so let's install this plugin here and activate it that's it good you have done a great job now let's go to settings and then open up sticky menu settings and from here we need to add a sticky element identifier so as you can see right over here it is asking for a unique identifier so let's put here i have already done that as you can see let's put dot sticky here and let's add some spacing here I would like to have some around 100 let's say 100 pixels it's already in pixels okay so now here what we want here is we do not want our element to be sticky at a particular screen size so when the screen size is smaller than that it will not be sticky anymore so let's put here 980 and that's it so let's go to advanced settings and then let's add the index to too much let's make it more we got too many nines here uh, so here we need to add an identifier so the sticky element will not be sticky when it reaches that point so let's put stop here and then save all the changes we have made here that's it so let's go to the our db builder here and what i want here is to go to these row settings then go to this second column because it's on the right side and it's on the second column so let's go to this column settings advanced css id and classes and then put our class here which is sticky just put sticky don't put dot and that's it now let's save it save this and scroll down here and what i want uh, i want that it should not be sticky when it reaches this section okay so let's see what it will do now let's exit the visual builder in a new tab here and let's see as you can see it's now following the scrolling and as you can see it is just going down and down as you can see so what i want here is to stop it right over here so let's do that let's go to the visual builder and then go to this section settings advanced css id and classes and then let's add a class which we have added right here we just have to copy this not to copy this dot from here so let's put it here like that and then save all the changes and that's it we have created a sticky element on scroll so let's refresh this page and see what we got okay let's scroll down oh man look at that so when i reach this section it will be stopped there look at that isn't that cool yeah it is cool let's do another example so as you can see i have got another layout from the db library here and uh, i got this section right over here and what i want is it to be sticky so let me remove all the spacing to cover not much space like that as you can see we have removed let me go to this row settings i want to do something spacing and i want to have some spacing on top and bottom a little bit like that so let's put our sticky class here to make it sticky so we need to go into this section settings now go to advanced css id and class and let's put the css id which is sticky to make any element sticky on our page so unfortunately it doesn't work in visual builder but don't worry we can see let's save all the changes 
so let's see what we got let's exit the visual builder in a new tab and let's see look at that uh, you are seeing this space because we have added some space in the basic settings under pixels but if you don't want you can simply remove it and then click save changes and let's come here and refresh this page so what uh, this option does is it adds some spacing from the top as you can see you can also read this from here okay so we need some more spacing around 50 pixels is good let's save it and let's see what we got now now and that looks good now as you can see isn't that cool so let's see so let's scroll down and we got a sticky section which sticks like that you now that is really really cool so uh, we don't want it to be stop at any place because we want it to be shown on top so we do not need to be adding the stop class on our page now so i think that's it for this tutorial and i hope uh, you guys have learned something from this video if so then make sure to subscribe to this channel to never miss any new upload and i'll meet you everyone in my next video till then have a great day peace out